this is Monica Gibberti with the Stamping with Monica and this is your Facebook live class and please let me know when you're popping on and I am going to um, let you know that my internet might be iffy tonight I was um, right now I'm using my cell data because my Wi-Fi was not working so I had to start and restart and delete and start again and right now uh let's keep our fingers crossed that we will be able to do this facebook live welcome everybody when you're walk popping on let me know where you're watching from and uh if you're new if this is your first time joining us and if you're not and you're one of my Followers, loyal fo followers, thank you so much for being here. Also, I see a lot of my um, Happy Basement Stampers ladies. Thank you for being here. And I apologize because I start seeing my screen going green. So it means that um, it might be um, a little glitchy because when I was using the Wi-Fi, it was not working at all. But anyways, yes, welcome Margaret, Pam, Nancy, it's not raining right now here. I think the worst is gone, but you never know. Sharon from probably uh, beautiful Florida, beautiful weather in Florida. So I envy you in a sense. Um, hello, Deborah and everybody. Thank you for being here. Okay, so tonight we're going to do a class and I decided to use things that are going to be retiring and using also um, items that are going that are from the um, online exclusives okay but before I um, before I forget thank you for sharing so that would be the one thing oh my golly I can see that my phone is not so I apologize if it's not going to be a perfect video tonight because the image goes um, I can see it but um, yes if you will be so kind to share the video so that we we'll get more people watching tonight and um, invite your friends because you never know they might like what they see or they get inspired or they're gonna say oh I don't like this lady so let me just go out okay so as I said before I forget to mention um, if you're a demonstrator, I wanted to ask if you guys had a chance to do your pre-order from the annual catalog, whatever we were, um, allowed to do. And, um, cause, uh, starting on April 2nd, I mean, yesterday, the demonstrators or discount, happy discount shoppers, like I, I called everybody, those are the ones that, um, enjoy the discount. If you guys were able, well, we were able to place a pre-order from uh, items from the catalog, the annual catalog. Not from everything. There was a list. But the new ink colors are uh, one of those that were largely, you know, you can uh, pre-order almost everything in the, um, in the ink colors. And those are beautiful. You probably have seen. A lot of, um, of them, um, I haven't played with them yet because I am working hard to get ready for my retreat. And right now I'm covered in purple, kind of in, um, in a sense, because we're going to use the lavender suite, the lavender, perennial lavender suite. And I've designed cards, two scrapbook pages, and then I have add-on classes that I need to finish prepping for. But yes, so the new in colors, I will start playing um, next week maybe. Well, I need to prepare um, swaps for my for my upcoming trip to Mexico. So I need, because I signed up for them. Plus I have other swaps and everything has to go in the mail before I leave on the 29th. So it's going to be crazy. But anyways, so pre-order. If you're not a demonstrator and you want to get your hands on some of the new stuff before everybody else, before the customers, then now is the time to join. 
it's always the best deal I keep on telling for many reasons uh, well the first one you're saving money the second you're getting into a, you're becoming a part of a community of like-minded um, ladies gentlemen it's just fun um, everything is you know put together brought together by the love of crafting and having the experience to go to on stage in Houston and after some so many years that because we were all spread out but this was the own the one um, the only one in the United States so we had more demonstrators that was fun it's um, you get to see people meet new people and um, exchange ideas or just sit and chat and craft it's it's all good it's all good so um, but anyways so let's put this aside and um, also you can mark your calendars for May 11th it will be in the afternoon from 3 to 6 I think it will be my catalog a kickoff event slash BOGO sale because a lot of the items that are in the annual catalog and mini catalog will be retiring so I am making room for new ones that I will be ordering and you know instead of me keeping it in boxes and not using it it's gonna be in my BOGO means buy one get one free whatever you place the order whatever you select from the um, retired stash then you will place an amount of the same amount of uh, dollars in or more has to be at least from the retire or more in the annual catalog so you go home with a bunch of free stuff from me plus it's going to be a class and everything else okay but it's may 11th so it's always fun and let's start with um, saying hello to everybody that is popping on and thank you for being here this is Monica Gibretti with Stamp It With Monica and you are tuning in on um, April 3rd 2024 for my online car class that is free to watch free to get inspired but if you're interested in getting the supplies to, re to re re redo the cards actually you get um, double so i'm going to show you two uh, three cards and you get supplies to recreate six of them okay so the one that i'm going to focus on that i decided to focus from the annual catalog is i put a sticker well i marked my catalog i don't know if you can see um i put big r to what is retiring and the discounted price the retiring list have been out since last month month but the sale sales prices are going to be in effect on april 9th so the numbers that you see here if you can see uh they are marked in red um they will be um uh, you know available at that price on april 9th the um, set of dies that I used is called Paper Florist, and is this. It has 18 um, dies, and to tell you the truth, I opened them up today because I got them a long time ago, having brilliant ideas of doing this, this, and that, and then I didn't do it because I didn't have time. So now um i decided to use them and they're fun they're fun the thing is that on april 9th instead of 37 dollars these will be 18 dollars and 50 cents half price so if what i show you tonight it inspires you well on the 9th you can get it but i will just go and get them right away because once the sales prices go on things are going to fly out of the window considering that um, a lot of uh, the products are already sold out even though they're not on sale um, so yeah so this is what I'm using and also I'm using the happy little things bundle this is an online exclusives that you only can find in my online store or if you're a demonstrator in your own website but in it's online 
and it is a bundle that has the stamp set i think this is fun because you have the outline and you can color in with the stamp color with the stamp or you can decide to stamp and color with markers or whatever and do each letter in a different color that would be fun it's very um large because the images here are at 80 percent so when you open it you can see how big they are and the bundle price is $33.25 because it's called a bundle because it goes with these two cute little label dies. Okay, so $33.25 for this, this bundle right here. So let me start with, first of all, telling you how you can get your card class for free. First is by placing your qualifying order by Sunday, April 6th. And if your order is over $40, you get the supplies for six projects, as I said. And if your order goes over 60, you get the projects plus a free embellishment that I'm using tonight in all the cards. And those are the adhesive backed sparkle gems. These are carrying over in the new annual catalog and they're very versatile. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Okie dokie. Um, the other thing that I need to remind you, um, I'm going to tell you the truth. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to design. I'm, I'm deciding. Oh, no, I, 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 I decided. Yeah. It's the Magnolia Bloom for my crafty class, my monthly car class. And I'm going to use another online exclusives. And that will be the Magnolia Bloom um, bundle. And um, the date for the in-person would be the last Saturday of the month. That will be the 27th in the morning. In the afternoon, I will have my uh, crafternoon and all the details will go out in an email. So if you want to be informed of what I do, either online, to go, in person, you need to be subscribed to my email uh, newsletter and then you get all the information okay so we're going to start with the cards for tonight let's go and start with the first one that I designed I think it's so stinking cute but you'll be the dumb you'll be the judge of it now as far as design series paper that I'm using guess what I'm using the Delightful Eclectic 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. I still have a bunch, so that's why I'm using it, because it's retiring. And on April 9th, this would be half price. So instead of $30 for 48 sheets of 12 by 12, it will be, it will be $15. But hurry, because it might sell out. Okay? So I decided yet again to use them, and um, because I think it's very versatile. So for the first card, these are the supplies. So you will get everything that you see here but the stamping part, okay? Because I cannot, by stamping up rules, I cannot send you anything pre-stamped. Okay, so you get a card base in my favorite blue that is Knight of Navy. I love this. Hopefully they will never, never retire this color. Then you will have a strip of paper. You will have some of the... Um, elegant trim that is retiring you will get a piece of basic white that i ran through with the stitched with whimsy dies they are retiring so if you don't have these this is what you could do with that you see it there i know it's not clear there you go so that's what i did um, so you have a large that covers basically a cart front. This is a quarter. And then you have all these little um, small ones. They do not cut. You run it through into your die cutting machine like you would with any other regular die. But instead of cutting, it's just perforating and giving you this look right here. Okay? So I hope you can see. And then I am using Fresh Freesia. I'm using this uh, pattern of the Designer Series paper. 
you have your white and then these are the pieces that I die cut it from the flower so I am going to show you first of all let me show you the dies I am talking about the dies but not showing it to them to you so these are a set of 18 so technically they're on they were on two sheets but I managed to put on one and uh, what I love about these is that you can cut in one um, passing you can cut four different the four flowers that you can do layer all together layer the two large layer the two small one large and one small you can do that and then you have these that will be looking like them like this let me just destroy this basically this is what you get and the slit that you see here it's for you to overlap and create a bit of let me just destroy because this i didn't use it so basically you see how this comes as a slit like that and then you will take it and with a glue dot you're going to overlap it and then you will get this fun little petal then i used a bit of my um with my bone folder to just squeeze it but anyways you can create a flower um or put more instead of three put six so you can do a lot you will see me using these dies tonight and actually these are the ones okay and let me show you the other one right here okay so these are the size so basically you run it through one time you get four of them then this one comes out this cutting comes out from this die right here and then you have leaves you have regular leaves this leaf here and this one that will look just like that right here okay and all of these are stems and flowers these are tulips so this is the stems for the tulips and these are the tops um, these are centers these are also they will die cut small flowers that you can put on top of these if you want to instead of just doing the tulips you can do that and these are to do the sunflowers middle because you have a small sunflower there yeah so they have um, and this I haven't played with these two but this one it's one of those dies that instead of you cutting to create a little circle in the middle you will this will already die cut for you you just need to roll it and do the middle of it okay let me see if by any chance here it shows it tells me where to go and look for a picture um so you know it's page 33 in the catalog so yeah can you see what beautiful things you can do with that so i usually put stuff on my bogo table i think i'll keep this because um doing beautiful frame or cards so this is the the center that i was talking you, to you about that comes out of this die basically it is a strip that is all cut and then you roll it up and you do the middle like that okay so page 33 of the catalog you can find some samples okay let me start and we're gonna go and start with let's put the flowers together so i'm using um adhesive liquid adhesive liquid glue uh, mini glue dots all of the above and i'm gonna use this as well let me flip no this is not whoop where is it i don't have the ballpoint of this one well i'm gonna use it the one from my scoring tool so what you can do you can crease the middle if you want the flowers to get a little bit of a um, body and then i'm gonna do this i'm gonna take my bone folder and then run it like that okay and then you can use this one 
Then I'm going to do that for this one as well. See how it curls up? I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And then right here, and we're going to put it together. Let's do it. I'm going to use mini dimensionals because they do fit in the middle perfectly. Okay. So um, just as a reminder, you're going to be able to enter into the drawing to get these cards with your comments and also with um, you staying until the end. Okay. So now that I have my flower, I'm going to put the middle, um, another dimensional here to put this middle. And I'm going to do the same right here a little bit because everything is curved up and there we go that's your little flower now you can give him more depth by using a sponge and um, also curling it a little bit more but I'm gonna go ahead and curl first and you can do this or not do this it's up to you okay and once we have these down Everything else will come together pretty fast. Okay, but it's fun. And then I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals. Put one down there. And put, I thought for a minute that I did something wrong, but no, I didn't. So I'm not completely overlapping like because I want it just a little bit and then this one I'm gonna go down a bit and then I'm gonna put this one in the middle and put this one and when putting this one in the middle it gives you already the idea of a nice flower okay and then I should have two of these two leaves Put this away and now I can start stamping and actually I'm gonna grab back my my piercing mat because I'm stamping and I didn't mount my um, stamp stamps because I okay I'm gonna do so the way you would do it is just so the stamps have the outline and the coloring. So I'm using both. Okay. So what I'm going to do is where the other U. I'm going to use this one now. Okay. And let me grab a piece of scrap paper because I don't want to dirty this. I'm going to fold this one since I'm, and then this is where I'm going to stamp off. Because there's going to be some stamping off done and the colors that I'm using for this card it's just one it would be night of navy okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp on here with my outline okay stamp with my outline pretty much up here and then I apologize because I need to check it there okay so that is that then I'm gonna take my coloring part ink it stamp off okay and now I really need to grab it close to me because I need to go on top of but because it's photopolymer you can see pretty much where you're stamping and that's done okay yet again I apologize for the image not being clear and then I'm gonna grab this piece of basic white and the stamp set let me clean because tonight I really need to put stuff away and the stamp that I'm using this says because I said you, and then we're going to do you are incredible, but I am not 
using, okay, I need another of these. Let me grab it. I don't know where I put them. My... Oh, I know where my blocks are. My blocks are with all of my projects. So then I'm going to grab this one. And let's pretend that this is a nice size. This is huge, but that's okay. So I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to... You could be uh, precise and just omit. I'm going to, because I have a big strip of paper, I'm going to stamp your incredible, well, in a better way. So what I, am, uh, I need to have is the first part centered like this because the U is gonna come off, okay? We're not going to use the U because we already have the U. So I am just going to cut. That's why you have a long strip. And voila. Okay. So this can be put aside. I'm going to clean my stamps. And this one, I don't think I need it anymore. Put it away. So then it's already done. And now it's time for me to put it together. Let me see if I need to stamp something. Yes. Now I'm going to stamp on the inside. Okay. And so the stamp set has different sayings. Celebrate, wishing, love you. So celebrate um, the best day ever. Celebrate the little things. Wishing you a peaceful season a speedy recovery happiness comfort and strength and then you can say uh you and then do this part you are incredible and you did it so i'm using that you did it uh because is part of my card and i'm gonna do you and i lied I'm using also Fresh Freesia, okay, and I'm going to ink my Fresh Freesia with this large here. I'm going to put this one, and I did, no, nope, full strength, got to remember what I did, okay, it's already you, I'm going to close And I'm going to grab this one, but I'm not going to ink the first part, the part that says you. I'm just going to ink the did it. And I'm going to put it right there. You did it. You're incredible. You did it. Okay, so this is an encouragement. It could be... A graduation card it could be some somebody getting promoted all kind of stuff so let me put this part all together for you so let me grab this okay so I'm going to grab my design series paper and put it the layout is pretty simple okay so this one's gonna go kind of like such, okay? We're gonna have our paper and we're gonna layer it on top. See, nothing crazy about the layout. So I'm layering this with, on top of a fresh freesia because the colors are in here, okay? And now I'm gonna take my flower and I'm gonna put a mini dimensional behind this and a mini dimensional behind this as well. I'm gonna put my flower down. This is how I work. So I put my flower down like so. This one is gonna be tucked under like such. So I'm gonna put, I can put it a large one 
and I put a mini because then I have room to tuck in my leaf leaves and this one is going to go like such I want it to be kind of like such and let's see where I'm going to put this card this one let's see where I'm going to put where did I put it in mine I think I put it down here but I don't like it no I like it could be there or could be here I'm going to do it differently. No, I'm going to stick to my design. Okay. So my design called it for here. There. Done. I'm going to grab this. Put on dimensionals. Okay. And then we're going to finish the card with the embellishments. Because right now, to me... It looks a little plain, even though you might not think so, but I do think it's plain looking. Now, where's my sentiment? Did I lose it? Right here. Now, I have this string. I'm going to do a faux bow, Ooh. like I usually do, because otherwise it would be too bulky i'm going to put a little bit of adhesive just to place it down okay like so then i'm going to take this you are incredible so i would need uh regular dimensionals i would go one what if i put it down here two and then the third one Okay, put this in the middle. That will go like such. I just need to trim this one a little bit. It's so curly. Everything is curly because it was around. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Now we're gonna grab the embellishment, and I have a bunch spread out. I'm going to use them all. So I'm using, I am using a large right here, a small. Come on, right there. And another small up here. Okay? So that's the front of my card, and now I'm going to do the inside. And this is ready to go. So here we go. This is card number one. Right there. Okay, so this is card number one. Let's move on to card number two and put this away because I don't need. You did it. I don't think I used it again. Okay. And now let's move on to card number two. Oh, I like this. It's all clean and not messy. For card number two, mm, I like this. Okay, here we go. This is what you get. I've done a little bit of the work I had, but not assembling the flower, okay? So this is a fun fold. You have your card base, you have your belly band, you have your insert, you have a strip of paper that will go down here. In your insert, you have design a series paper. I'm going to use this side. You have a scalloped rectangle, and it's part of the scalloped contour dies, and these are retiring. So if you don't own these, check them out, okay? And I think they might be on sale as well. Let me just do a double check here and tell you if they're going to be on sale or not. Because I don't remember. Yes, they will be at 
Instead of $35, they will be $24.50. So it's a good buy. And because um, I've used a bunch of them. A bunch of times, I mean. Okay, so we're going to... Well, I'm missing something. I am missing a layer of car stock. So bear with me. I'm going to cut it. Because I forgot to cut a layer. That would be... Um, that would be the layer right here. And this is Misty Moonlight. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the designer series paper and layer it on here. Okay. That's what is going to get layered with one eighth of an inch all around. This is done. Okay, I'm going to take my card front and I'm going to fold it on the score lines and making sure that they are straight. Off we go. Okay. And I'm going to do the easy part where I'm going to take my liquid glue and put a little bit of it here on this panel. If I get any. Okay. So then I'm going to take this, fold it. Put it down and glue it. Okay, are we good? Easy peasy. So this will open like such. This part, I'm not going to stamp on it. So I am going to put the designer series paper as a little border here. And voila. Go down here because it will bring in, you know, finish up the card nicely. And I'm going to trim the extra. Voila, and this is going to go into the inside. And this part is done. Okay, so this will be closing like this. Now, we're going to work on this. Now, let's work on this part. First, we're going to assemble the card and the, the flower. And for this flower, I decided to use these dies. So you get these two large, these two small, all die cut from this. And then I'm grabbing this little center that is coming out of these dies. And it's nice that we have two of them. Okay, so there you go. And then my leaves are from this. Okay, so let's put the flower together. And I'm going to use liquid glue. Because I noticed that it was becoming a little uh, bulky. So I'm going to do with the liquid glue. And I'm going to set it like such. Okay. Put this and hold it, and then we'll play it with that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive there. This is going to get put on this way if it stays for a minute. Okay, we're doing layers, um, offsetting it. So this will have to go like such. Okay, so then you get all of this. Offset it. Okay, and right now it looks like it's messy. But it will not be. Okay. There. And now I'm going to take my bone folder and kind of um, do this. Okay, can be down, and then you can even do up. Okay, 
So play with that. Create with, you know, your petals can go up or down, however you like them. But just actually, I did this on mine to make it go faster. You can use your fingers if you want. Okay, so give it a little bit of a dimension. And now I'm taking this. And for this one, I'm going to do the same with my piercing tool or my, it's not a piercing tool. With this one, I'm going to just curl it up and stick it inside. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue and a little bit goes a long way. And when we put it down, everything will come to life. Okay. So that is our flower right here. Voila. I was looking at that. Now, let's get stamping. So we're going to take this. We're going to take our, um, what you may call it, piercing mat. Okay. I'm going to do like such. And right now, I'm going to switch out of here. I'm going to get wishing in the bold right here. And we're going to put it down. It's always um, better to lay your stamp down and then pick it up with your block. And then the other one that I would need is both of them. Both use. Let me grab another block because I don't know what I did. Use these. Okay. Because that was too small. So I'm using the bold on here. And the outline of the U. So wishing you. Okay, so now, colors that I'm using will be Crush Curry and Calypso Coral. These two together. And I'm going to start with Wishing and inking my Wishing in Calypso Coral. Okay. And hopefully I will stamp it straight. It will be up here. Like such. Beautiful. And then I'm taking the outline of the U. Making sure that all the ink is off. I'm taking crushed curry. I'm inking it full strength. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp under here, hopefully straight. Okay. Then I'm taking my bold or full. I'm going to stamp it off. And now I'm going to fill it in. Mm, if I can do it without covering you guys. Voila, wishing you. And then I'm going to grab back again my Knight of Navy. And I'm going to grab this little label that I die cut. I don't know if you can see it. And I die cut it with the matching die from the bundle. Okay. Look how cute they fit. <laughs> Happy little things dies, like pocket side size. And I die cut it and I'm gonna grab the sentiment that says a speedy recovery. So this kind of is a uh, get well wishes in a sense, right? So now I'm gonna grab me this stamp. I'm going to grab my black 
and luckily hopefully I will stamp this one centered a speedy recovery done hope you can see it okay wishing you a speedy recovery and now we're gonna put it together we're gonna grab our flower And we're going to grab the leaves, and these are cut in garden green. And we're going to put these one, these down like so. What did I say that I was going to do? This can be staying down like so. Okay, like such. So right there, I'm going to put a dimensional. So it's not gonna they're not gonna go anywhere and then this is gonna be like such okay so two for one you don't need a lot of dimensionals and this is gonna be going on top here like so and then this little thing is gonna be put up right there like such okay so i'm gonna put dimensional mini dimensionals one right here and then depending on where i want it i'm gonna just stick it in in there let's do this it's easier and one in the middle like so okay Voila. And now I'm going to put this one on my um, scalloped rectangle. Okay. Center it. Like so. My bow. I'm going to put it on at the end. Now, I'm going to do a belly band, but this is not going to be long enough so pay attention of what I'm going to do because this is 11 okay when you go around it you kind of low need it's not going to touch okay so kind of bring it all the way to the middle tight there I'm going to grab a bunch of dimensionals Okay, so I'm going to put one here. Let me grab a new sheet. It'd be easier for me to maneuver. Okay, so this is the, another way to do it. So one here, one there. Remember, it does not, it cannot be glued to the car front. Otherwise, it's not going to be opening. But I want also put here two here and two here okay now I'm gonna peel everything off and then we're gonna stick it down and then you will see that it works because you could have added an extra piece of car stock if you wanted to but this way it works um, same same okay so I'm using hopefully it will be all straight and here we go then you have your belly band that moves okay that is done now I'm gonna take my bow with my elegant trim um, whatever is left over of my mini glue dot grab one wrap it so it's not going to be all messy this is going to be right there we're going to grab our embellishments and we're going to use the one that are a little bit um, on the gold and then we're going to do one there one here and i need a small one 
I'm going to go fish it from this one. Remember that these are the ones that you could get for free when you're with your qualifying order. And so here we go. Okay, so this is the card for you. Wishing you a speedy recovery. Then you open it up, open, open, and then you can write whatever. Uh, the suggestion is that your belly band should be pretty tight because worst case scenario, you, you just um, bend the card to make it go inside. Okay, here we go. This is your card number two right there. And let's move on to card number three. And then we are done. So for card number three, what did I do? I forgot. One, two, oh, yes. Oh, Lord. I think I like this. Now, these are the colors. Well, let me see. I need, I need to change, grab my stamps, put these away. Um, I just need to put all of these away. So then we're good and take out what I need out. That is going to be putting these down here. I don't need the wishing anymore. Instead, I will put away the you. Love him. Love him, love him. And we're going to grab love. Um, we're going to grab both of them. And then love, love, and then happiness. Where's my happiness? Right there. That can go there. And then best day ever. Where is that? You did it. Um, am I blind? Yes, right there. Okay. So... Let me mount these. I'm going to grab a love here. I'm going to grab me the other love. So both the outline and the inside. And then I'm going to grab me the best day ever. Okay. So love, happiness, the best day ever I'm using. Okay. These are the colors. And I am going to use... Um, Fresh Freesia and Memento. Okay, so let's get started. So these are, oof, move all these. These are the parts for the card. And so you will have a card base in, uh, this has a lot of pieces in um, Fresh Freesia. Okay, I'm going to put it aside there. Then you will have your insert that we're going to stamp on. You will have a front, a car front, like this. And we're going to grab our um, paper trimmer and we're going to cut it in half. This is four by five and a fourth. So that will come to two and a half. And here, two and five eighths. I'm going to cut it, split it in two. Okay. That's what you will need to do. Okie dokie. So one thing that we can do is to glue this one down. So this is going to go up here and then we're going to use the reverse. First time using this pattern, had it there, had it. And I said, might as well use it. So we are going to glue this one down and directly on my card base and what i want i want it to be um, the same edge all around okay for this and then same for the bottom and then i need to grab my other adhesive and i will do it pretty much is like such Okay, voila, then you're going to have a piece of, this is 
bubble bath that will go right oops look at this this is really crooked is it crooked or is it me no it's me it's my eyes and then I'm going to put this one down in the middle like such okay so this is your cart front done then we are going to work assemble so we have one two three leaves we have one and two stems okay we have these parts and i'm going to show you where they come from okay then we have the same right here then we have where are them we have one two three in bubble bath and these are crushed curry okay where do they come from these i already show you this one comes from this die this comes from here this little thing comes from this die right here okay these obviously right there and these are for and this is for the tulips and these are the leaves one and two okay let me grab my sample that fell on the floor otherwise i will be lost because who remembers what i did okay so now you have we're going to start working on these first and i'm going to use my piercing mat because i don't want to it's easier so i am going to hope you can see so i'm going to put a little bit of adhesive liquid glue in the back of these okay like such in the meantime i'm going to put together these flowers they do go together this one is um daffodil delight and this is cajun um crushed curry and i am going to put them together using um, many dimensionals that i have right here so i'm gonna put this one in the middle and this one is gonna go together and this one on its own might look like um, a sun you know you could use it like if you want to do a small sun you could use that okay like such and then we have these circle that um, looks like the center of a sunflower and i'm gonna put it on isn't it cute? I don't know why I waited so long to use it. It's always the case when you realize, oh, it is retiring. I better use it. So now that these are not so sticky, I'm going to build my um, tulips. And you just put them down right there. If I can pick them up with my no fingernails okay and then use the other hand monica and stick it on so this is that how cute is that right there and then i'm going to do the same with these pink or what's the a bubble bath color and put this one down right here like such and this one you could use um, liquid glue or mini glue dots you could do that okay so the the longest part is done now we are going to grab and stamp so these are all done one two three there we're gonna grab our um, basic white we're gonna grab love and that's the one that is um, bold 
Okay, we're going to ink it. And let's see, and then we're gonna stamp it. Oh, this is a little juicy. Let's see if it works. Straight, Monica. Okay. Mm. Is it straight? It, it looks like it is. Then we're gonna grab happiness that I need to put down. And then this time I'm going to use um, Memento. And we are going to do it right there. Okay. You see? There you go. And then I'm going to take this. And on this one, I'm going to stamp best this says the best the best day ever but i don't need the i just want best day ever just because so i'm going to ink it this way because you can just do that yes and we're going to stamp it and i'm going to show you what the dies do and we're going to stamp it kind of right there. Okay. It's, I don't know if you can notice, but the dies have a little bit of a stitching. Oh, look at that. Awful focus. You can't see it. There you go. It has a little bit of a stitching on the edges. Okay. I apologize. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. Now all the parts are done. So let's put this one together. So I am going to do this. And I'm going to do this. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to do this. So I'm going to place it and then do the gluing. Okay. I am going to put this one like such all the way down there. Do you see it? So right now I know where they go. I'm going to take a dimensional and another dimensional right there because I know where they're going. This is going to get down here. And that is going to be right there. So I can attach these. And then this is going to be tucked. Okay, let's go with it. First, I'm going to put this. Because this is the one that needs to cover, be covered the most. And then I'm going to go under... with that then I can always add more down there now these will go tuck like such but I need to trim it a bit this is like creating a bouquet of flowers cute mm, maybe a little bit less and then now I'm grabbing either glue dots or liquid glue it's up to you but now that I know where they need to go I can just push them down in there well if I can oh there okay and then I need to put this leaf in here then I have to tuck. It's not going anywhere now. I'm going to lift a minute. Actually, I'm going to cheat and put it down like such. Okay? And nobody knows. 
this is going to be go all the way in there and then these we're going to trim and just use two and these two we're going to separate and I don't know why I did three but just to show you I'm going to separate and do this get a glue dot and I might need to yeah I need to trim them yes I need to trim it I should have measured it and after this we're done the card is done okay when I can stuff put these underneath right right there okay there we go okay this is done now let's put it all together and then you you're left with one of those and I went flat and I couldn't I was almost done with my cards but I need to change my refill because I'm almost done uh, well I'm over it's done finito okay let's put this one in and we're almost finished and you can even do this easy peasy and now this is gonna go on here voila now we're gonna grab our card we're gonna put this two three and four and we're going to position this and then we're almost done almost done so this is gonna go right here okay and now I'm going to take whatever that you have, your little my usual. I did not do a bow. Okay. But I want a big long loop like such. Okay. So are you still here ready to see who's going to win these cards? okay now this is gonna go up here okay and I'm going to put a mini dimensional behind and then I'll trim okay so I know that this is going to be there and this is going to be right there and here I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive like such. Let's peel. Put this one right there. Okay. Best day ever. And I'm going to trim this. Oh, look. I'm wasting my dimensional. But I need to put it put one here otherwise it's gonna move all around and voila and voila we are done once this is straight cut straight because I want it to be nice sharp cut and now we're gonna put the embellishment and we're gonna use the black of them and then we're done so I'm gonna put this time I'm gonna do a large right there and then I'm gonna use these two okay 
there. What do we do for the inside? Where's my inside? What did I do? Oh, I just did love, but just with the... And you know what we can do? I'm going to do love right here. And because you have... I didn't do it in my original one, but because you have this, okay, we can even do... Attach this one right there. We're going to trim it. Okay, trim it nicely. And voila. And we're going to put this. Actually, no. I like it shorter. A little bit of adhesive, uh, liquid glue. It comes out. And there we go. Voila. If we don't like it, we can take it off. I think I'm going to put it like such. Okay. We are done. We're going to put this one inside with this. And ladies and gentlemen, I am done with my class tonight i hope you enjoyed it and if you are interested in getting the supplies to re recreate these cards you could um you know you your qualifying order will get you the free supplies is a same thank you for me and then you can also get your adhesive so Card number three, card number two, card number one. Let's hear it. Which one is your favorite? If you have any, if you enjoyed it, if you, I didn't ask you if you own the um, florist, what is the name of it? The paper florist dies. Remember, April 9th, they will be half price. So these are a great deal. They're going to be a great deal. Okay, so three is my favorite. Three is my favorite. Okay, so just as a recap, this is the host code. If you're interested, it's all also going to be in my email in the description of this video as well. It's R-G-V-T-R-Y-K-Z. This is a new April host code, and you know the drill. You could get the six cards, the supplies for the six cards, and the, um, the embellishment with your qualifying order, okay? So here are the cards. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope I inspired you to get out, if you have the dies, to work with them, or just create some of you know, the cards, even if you have your designer series paper. And remember, this is going to be on sale half price. So it's a great deal. So thank you for tuning in tonight and for watching the class.